And now we're going out to Moose Jaw. I hope I have this right from SAS Selects Football because all they've been talking about is Coach Z. Coach Z joins us on the video line. Am I saying this right, Coach Stefanovic? Zelko Stefanic, am I saying that right, Zelko? Absolutely. No, that's perfect, man. Wow. <laughs> I, found, I got one thing right today. Coach Z, <laughs> from, from SAS Selects Football, would you please tell our audience today what's going down uh, in Moose Jaw at Yara Center? Uh, well, there's lots. Uh, I mean, we start, like our program essentially starts in November, uh, early November, and we run uh, this year right in through, uh, through April. Um, so we've been running this program. This is now our 12th season. Um, we're running it right out of the Yara, right in Moose Jaw. And um, this January, this coming January, from the 11th to the 14th, is uh, we're having a tournament. So um but let me just back up a sec rod um by the way that trip yeah. did to uh to john lynch was was phenomenal that was uh uh you know being a regina guy you know it's definitely a voice that's recognizable so uh nice work man um thank yeah, you we yeah, got a great like, staff so what, yeah. what, what we uh what we do rod is 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 we have a long-term athletic development program that's that's based in football and we train with the kids, you know, young as, as young as 10 to as old as, you know, uh, grade 12 kids. So we train with the kids. We help them develop their fundamental skills in football. Uh, so our, our practice weekends are every second weekend, and sometimes it's every weekend. So kids come together from all over the province. Um, and, you know, we work together as teams. And then, you know, once a year, um, uh, we travel somewhere to the U.S. where we take part in uh, an 11-man four-down uh, football tournament. So we've traveled from, you know, from Vegas all the way to Florida. Uh, this year, we're going back to Florida in February. We're going to be in Haines City, which is just outside of Orlando, uh, for a huge tournament. Um, and that's going to be kind of near the tail end of February. But, but prior to that, um, you know, the kids are going to be this is kind of a tune-up tournament for us going to Florida and then subsequently to Germany. But uh, we have a huge event in Moose Jaw, January 11th to the 14th, where um, this year close to a thousand a thousand um, football players are going to get together in the city of Moose Jaw along with their families, and we're going to take part in a four-day tournament. So, um, you know, and, and, uh, ages from 10 U all the way up to, uh, you know, grade 10s, 11s, and, and, and some 12s are going to be playing. And the really groovy part, man, this year is that, well, first of all, IKS is doing uh, the live streaming, so anybody's going to be able to tune in and, and watch it on, on, uh, on YouTube. And um, the other cool thing is that we're having teams from, uh, from California, from the L.A. area that are going to be at our tournament uh, with a 15U, uh, 15U age division uh, team. And then we're also having three three teams from Boston, Massachusetts, that are actually making the trip all the way to Moose Jaw, believe it or not, and they're going to take part in our tournament. So that's that's a first. And then, of course, our teams from Western Canada. So, like our program is is, uh, is you know kind of taking hold. We have a program at the University of Alberta. Uh, you know, they have four teams that they're going to be bringing. Then we have a, a a team from Airdrie, Alberta, that's that's going to be bringing a 12U team. Uh, which is so cool. And then, uh, of course, Manitoba is bringing, I think, four teams as well, so uh, at a different age level. So it's going to be wall-to-wall -wall football at the Yara Center, man, uh, in in middle of January. Uh, we convert the entire place into an nfl size football field. We put lines down, and, you know, um, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Coach Z, what is the name of the event, if you don't mind? It's called Battle on the Prairies. Um, and if anybody wanted nice. to tune in, like uh, some, there's some there's some video from last year um, that you know that IKS did because uh, they did the streaming for us. I got to tell you, man, the really cool thing is that last year we were the first ever youth football team that actually had a coaches challenge. So 
uh, the ref was, we had a red flag, the ref, uh, uh, made a, uh, a call and then one of the coaches challenged it. So the ref actually went to the video replay booth and, and, uh, and looked at the, and overturned his, his own call. So it was actually really cool. <laughs> You wonder why refs hate video replay. They're pro <laughs> proven now to be wrong at times. Um, but, you know, I got to say this, Coach Z. A lot of events start and they fizzle out. For yours to start and then grow and grow and grow to get to this point is a testament to that you guys know what you're doing. And my home province knows what it, they're doing when it comes to sports and football. But what would you attribute to it becoming this size? Because that's saying a lot. You know, great question, Rod. Right? Like, I, I think the the biggest thing is um, that we bring value to uh, to the families, and a, as far as the kids and their development, I mean, the proof is the proof is in the pudding. Um, like this area, like this group gr group of grade twelves that came out of our program this year has been absolutely amazing like i mean this is probably one of the highest recruited areas in the country right now and i mean I, if you look at the list of kids that actually came out of our program that are being that are being recruited all over the country uh i just actually got a list of uh, 24 kids that have already committed to different universities and the thunder and you know some of the other junior programs in the in the country uh in bc i mean it everybody's i get daily calls from coaches that are willing to that want to come out come out to our tournament and look at the kids because the talent of football here rod is absolutely through the roof man and i've always said um you know the kids in this province the football that's played in this province at the minor football level and of course i mean obviously we we like to think that we have a lot to do with that because the kids spend a lot of time with us uh in on the development side uh the talent here is just as good as it is anywhere in the country, if not not in North America. And uh, like when you look at you know the four kids that we have right now playing in the NCAA, and and I mean the kids that are playing from all over, from all the way from St. FX to to UBC that are that that have come out of our program that are playing at the next level. I mean that's the proof in the pudding, man. Uh, you know the U18 winning four, uh, uh, you know Canada Cup. I mean, just think about it, man. We are like one of the smallest provinces in the country, and we're we're going out there and rinsing every other province at the Football Canada Cup, both at the U18 level and and the U16 level. Man, we had 24 kids on that team that were that, that came out of our program, right? And and I'm not just saying that, you know, we we're the ones that that are, that are the root cause behind that, but I mean, you know, obviously, you know, spending all that time with these kids throughout the winter, you know, them honing their craft and developing their skills, uh, doing stuff that they normally wouldn't get in their normal football programs. Like we spent a ton of time teaching kids to tackle. And, um, you know, that's kind of the, that's kind of been the, you know, the, the crux of our program is just teaching those kids, those, those basic skills so that, you know, when they do, when the quarterback does throw them the ball, they can catch it, you know, and it's not going to be, you know, it's, uh, it's not going to be a fumble or something like that. So, yeah, I, I think we've, we, you know, that that's kind of, and sorry for rambling, I kind of get excited about this stuff because I think we've had so much to do with, with football in this province over the last 12 years. So um, I, I certainly appreciated the question. Oh, Court, well, I kind of knew the answer, but I wanted to give you the opportunity to say it yourself. But when people see a guy from Medicine Hat win the John Cornish Trophy as the NCAA top Canadian, like, how did that happen? This is how it happened. We now have coaches donating their time. We finally had the facilities so the kids can train year-round. This is how it happens, and uh, it wouldn't happen without guys like yourself, and that Yara Center is something to behold in and of itself. So January 11th to the 14th, Battle on the Prairies. You can watch it here through IKS on YouTube. Coach Z, thank you, man. Happy holidays, and thanks for all you do and have done, and will do. Thanks so much, Rod. Have a great weekend, man.